Welcome! In this video, we're going to discuss color perception. By the end of the video, you should be able to describe the trichromatic and opponent process theories of color vision. In the 1800s, Young and Helmholtz proposed that the eye detects three primary colors because it has three basic types of cones that detect, detect these colors. So one cone for red, one cone for green, and one cone for blue. So Young proposed in 1802 that we had these three different types of cones. And 50 years later, Helmholtz demonstrated that all of the colors that we see can be a result of a co different combinations of these three colors. So three different cones for three different colors. And we have, so we have one blue receptor for these short wavelengths, a red receptor for the long wavelengths, and then a green one for the medium wavelengths. And I know sometimes people who are in art have a difficulty with this because that, that green should really be a yellow based on the color will, but for whatever reason, in our eye, it's red, blue, and green. And here's just a different diagram that shows the same thing in a different way. I thought it might be helpful. Again, showing here the light comes in through the lens, is detected by the photoreceptors in the retina in the back of the eye. We have our cones that detect the color, showing there's red, blue, and green cones. And that's just depicted here, and the rods are yellow. And you can see that up here in this diagram. So the opponent process theory used to be thought to be a theory that was opposing to the trichromatic theory, but now most vision researchers actually accept the idea that the trichromatic theory describes what happens at the level of the eye in the retina with the light waves hitting those photoreceptors and there's being three different types of cones. While the opponent process theory has more to do with the perception of those light waves. Now, according to the theory, there are three opponent channels. The first one is red green. The second is blue yellow and the third is black and white. So the idea is if a cell is inhibited by a color, meaning it isn't firing an action potential, then when that color is removed, it results in a burst of activity and the opposing color is seen. So for example, if light waves of red are hitting our, our retina, that's going to inhibit those cones. So when those red light waves are removed, then we see a burst of activity in those cells resulting in us seeing the color green. And that's called an after image. So again, if an opponent process cells are inhibited by a color, removal of that cover result, results in a burst of activity. So let's try that. Let's stare at this red square for about 30 seconds. Look straight in the center of it. I'm going to set a timer and just stare. Now, what did you see? Did you see the green after image? Now my timer went a little wonky on that one. So we're gonna try it again with this image. Stare straight at the black dot. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 seconds. Don't look away. What do you see? Do you see? I definitely see the blue heart on the in the outside, not so much the red, but that's the opponent uh, process theory in action, and that is a negative after image. 